So Uncharted came out this weekend. Big box office hit, big smash in the box office, which we'll get into a little bit later. Um, yep. Marky Mark's in it. Tom Holland's in it. Antonio Banderas is in it. Uh, who's else in it? Brian, was Brian Cran- was Brian Cranston in it? I feel like I saw him, but I could uh, be mixing up. Uh, no, no. I, uh, I know. I know. It was Spider Man, Puss in Boots, Marky Mark. <laughs> um, <laughs> can't remember who else. But those those are the main characters. Yeah, those Almost. are the main ones. Yeah. Sophia um, Taylor Ali, Tati Gabriella. I'm sorry, Gabriel. Yeah. Rudy Pankow. Yeah. Brian Rudy. Cranston. Was he in here? Oh, I guess he was. It's it says on the um on the IMDB. I don't know. I don't, I that's why I'm like, was that did I see him or did I see him? Did I know we saw Nolan North. Too. Yeah, right. Yeah. We saw Nolan North, which was uh the original uh Nathan Drake. So that was pretty cool. Um, oh, yeah. But uh, Tati Gabriella, Tati Gabriella, she's from uh, Sabrina on Netflix, which, uh, okay. yeah, that was a pretty good show. And she was awesome. She was one of the, the triplets. <laughs> but cool, man. Let's, uh, let's watch this trailer and get right into it. All right. All right. Let's go. Let's go. So no audio, but uh, let me just talk over the amazing visuals. So the movie Uncharted is about a treasure hunter named Victor Sully Sullivan, played by Marky Mark. He recruits a street smart Nathan Drake, played by none other than Tom Holland, mm-hmm. um, to help him recover a 500-year-old lost fortune amassed by the famous explorer Ferdinand Magellan. What starts out as a heist soon becomes a globe-trotting white-knuckle race. <laughs> the, the wording. White-knuckle race to reach the prize before the ruthless Santiago Moncada can get his hands on it. If Sully and Nate can decipher the clues and solve one of the world's oldest mysteries, they stand to find $5 billion in treasure. But only if they can learn to work together. Because as we see in the movie, no one can trust anyone. <laughs> right. And I mean, yeah. rightfully so. Oh. Um, but yeah, that's uh, pretty much the movie. Yeah, uh, A lot of action that scenes, a... a lot of uh, kind of riddles and whatnot. It's pretty cool. Yeah, little puzzles and that the action was uh there was a lot of action. Like this scene right here with if, if you're watching live you can see it. The whole yeah, uh yeah. falling out of the cargo plane, which is a was a really good uh sequence, I thought. But yeah. I agree. Um cool, let me bring this down because this is a this is a long trailer. Yeah, it but, is three minutes. Yeah, we should have talked yeah. a little slowly next time, huh? <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's all good. Um <laughs> yeah. Dre <laughs> um so yeah well, well so we we like to break it down like what uh what we liked and dislike and then we'll give our ratings at the end mm-hmm. so to start off uh what, what were some of the things you guys liked some of the good stuff fredo want to start off yeah sure um overall i like i like the whole movie actually i mean there are like good sequences there i like the uh the cargo plane of course that's the that was a big one of it um the fighting scene in the in the gala I believe it was in the auction. Yeah. So yeah. there was a lot of good things. And at the same time, it was funny, entertaining. It kept me engaged. Um, I, I, I just liked the fact that it looked like Mark Wahlberg and Tom Holland actually worked very well together. I don't know. If there was something behind scenes, like if they kicked it off, like, like, you know, like brothers or enemies, I don't know, but on the scene, that actually looked very, very well. And, um, I, I don't know. It just, uh, it was something with it. And I played Uncharted, and I'm sure a lot of people has. So I, throughout the movie, I'm, I, went, I was like trying to pay close attention. How close realistic is it to the game? And a lot of movies that come out fail at that. They really they, they, they just mess it up. Need for Speed was one of them that did not fail. <laughs> you know, I, I really liked it. Um, but this movie actually was very good, very entertaining overall. And my biggest joy was not actually the movie, because in the theater today, since there was no school, um, there's like eight to ten, like ten year olds, you know, oh. and there's all you know, it was kids like friends and whatever. Mm-hmm. At the end of the movie, they were clapping, they were excited, and it just brought me joy to myself, you know, joy because I, I've been there, I've seen that, and uh, I've felt that before. So that was my biggest. Point, you know, my biggest part because it's not just me, 
that thought that it was close to the game, so did they. You know, they yeah. and I, I've heard them throughout the movie. Oh, remember this place? Yeah, remember that scene? Remember? <laughs> so it was pretty cool. I liked it a lot. Yeah. Uh, what about you, Will? Nice. nice. So, uh, unfortunately, I never really played the, the Uncharted series. It looks amazing. I've, I've like, dabbled on the PS Vita, one mm-hmm. of the demos. And mm-hmm. I liked um, what I was playing at the time. This was years ago. Um, so, I don't really have too much background on knowing what was accurate to the game and what wasn't. So, I'm just going based off of my experience uh, watching it at theater. So... Uh, things that I liked um, were definitely the pacing of the movie. Um, it didn't start off slow. We immediately get like some action. Uh, we get some backstory, quick backstory, which is right. key mm-hmm. in, in a movie like this where you want action right away. You got to explain some stuff. You know, in case you got a guy like me who hasn't played the game, you got you want to know what's this Nathan Drake about, right? So in the very beginning, they talk about him, his brother, um, and like the relationship that they have, and then. I liked the uh, I liked the motivation behind the whole journey. That is what kept me going to like keep my eyes on screen was the fact that Nathan he, he has his brother and he misses him. They've been apart, so you know that longing to see his brother again um, is what really held Nathan in the story. And so I, I like that. I like that there was a motivation on his part uh, besides the five hundred year old treasure. Um, mm-hmm. It did feel like a glorified uh, Goonies movie. I will say that. Um, it had a lot of elements it, of like having, you know, Nathan's map or whatever. And and it had, you know, a, a treasure or what is it? Like a um, a pirate ship looking thing. Uh, um, oh, yeah. All of those kind of things were really cool visually to see. Um, we saw a lot of action scenes like uh, Fredo discussed where they're even using like pirate swords or whatever. Those are pretty cool. Yeah. Um, we saw some nice gun shooting scenes as well. And thank you, Joel, for liking the stream, by the way. Um, yeah, thank you. So, again, I, I can't really go off of too much of um, the game, but I do know that um, kind of piggybacking off of what Fredo said, the relationship definitely was really on point. The chemistry was for sure there. I did hear that they do have a pretty good relationship um, while they were filming the movie. Um, I think a few times um, Tom Holland was like sleeping over at um, Marky Mark's house and there was even a, an awkward moment that they had where um, who was it? Tom Holland thought that um, Mark Wahlberg was like coming on to him, and it was a funny <laughs> story where <laughs> where Mark Wahlberg he has a, a either a company or he has a, a partnership with this company that has massage guns, and so um, he gave like a free one to Tom Holland, and I was like, okay, that's cool, right? And then immediately after, like they were having a good time at a party or something, or they were drinking, and Tom Holland was really drunk and. Um, Mark Wahlberg was like, hey, you want me to drive you home or you want to want me to drive you to my place? And that's where the whole coming on to him <laughs> took place. And so just having that little like um, moment and they, they obviously cleared it up and <laughs> they didn't think, um, anything sexual or come from that. But um, it was just they they had a, a really good amount of time to to bond off screen. So that really, in my opinion, it, it reflects in the movie. And so I didn't think going into it that they weren't going to have a good relationship, but they did. They kept poking jokes at each other. It kind of felt like, um, like the rock and, and Kevin Hart, Kevin Hart felt like uh, that. I kind of got mm-hmm. that vibe. Um, but overall, um, things that I liked were like the visuals, the pacing of the story cast was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it about me. What about you tank? Um. Yeah, I mean, their their relationship, I think, was the the biggest takeaway from it. That it, it really worked out, you know, because in the game, um, Nathan Drake is much older than than he is in this in the movie. Ugh, yeah, and I was always I was wondering what was going to happen with Sully and and Nate because in the game, their their relationship is a little bit different. Um, because Sully already knows like Nate's a badass and stuff like that. Um, but so I was kind of like worried about it, but I thought their relationship was pretty good. Obviously, that that whole part of it changed, like how they came together. Um, but yeah, yeah, I mean, I thought yeah, I was gonna dislike him being so much younger as more. Um, it didn't bother me once I kind of got over it. 
Um, but yeah, they, them kind of really going back and forth was was kind of funny. But also, that's what kind of what Marky Mark does, you know, like in the other guys, him and him and um, <laughs> Will, Will Ferrell. Ferrell. You know, like that's that's just kind. Of, I mean, there he was really exaggerated with the goofiness, but but yeah. I mean, that's what he's best at is when he has somebody opposite to to say little one liners and stuff with you know, and and I thought that was that that was pretty good, but I mean, the action was really good in this one. It is a little over the top at times, but you know, it's expected with this kind of movie, so you know, it wasn't like too like like what they can't do that. I was like, yeah, okay, you know, but <laughs> yeah, you know, it, it's it's based off a of video game, so of course it's gonna be you know over the right. top. But yeah. I thought it was True. good. Like you know, them the whole cargo plane was probably one of my one of my favorite scenes in the whole um, thing because it was really quick. It seemed like it was gonna be a bigger part of the movie because right. in the trailer, you know, they keep playing it over and over again, and it was so pretty quick, you know. But the the finale with the boats, you know, and stuff like that, that was super cool. That was super yeah. cool. I was really like, you know, happy with uh, with that really like cool ending. No, not the ending, but the climax, the big action scene at the end. Yeah, yeah. So, but, yeah, I mean, the uh, it started. The movie started just like that, you know. Yeah. With you know, he's on the cargo plane falling off. I'm like, wait, what? But now, then you watch the movie, and then it makes sense how they yeah. get there and what had to actually happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, that was uh, that was it, was it was fun. The relationship that was a bit that was the biggest thing. And I think if you have two big guys like that, like it's it's important to not have a Vin Diesel and Rock situation where like who's who's gonna beat each other the most kind of thing, you know where it should have been more like Kevin Hart in the rock where it's just like goofy fun. Um hey, thank you Anna. Thank you. Um but but yeah, um so let's move into some of the bad stuff. What were some of the bad things you guys um didn't like about it? Um the bartender. I, I didn't really like the bartender because to me, in this movie, he's portrayed as a bartender. I understand he's like a cat burglar more or less. So he needs to be in fit and shape and I understand that. But when it comes to hand to hand combat, like he knows like Toy Kondo or Kung Fu or whatever. <laughs> He's doing all these tricks and, and things and stuff. And I'm like, wow, you know, that's that's a pretty talented bartender. And then you had him a gun and now he's always shooting everything. And I'm like, Jesus, this guy is like multi talented. What the hell? <laughs> and um and on top of that, he's book smart, you know, and he's very knowledgeable. And um I'm like, okay, maybe not the, with the knowledge, but with the gun and the fighting. I understand. Maybe that's a bit of a stretch. Okay, I can I can see him being fit because he's a cat burglar. I can see him being really super knowledgeable because that's what he did with his brother when you know way back when. But the other two, I don't know because remember when he put on that holster for the gun during towards the end of the movie, when he put that on that completed the character that I remembered in the game because he always had that holster. And once he did, you know, he did this and that and that. And he, I'm like, Jesus Christ, dude, you're <laughs> fucking awesome. Yeah. Um, and besides that, you know, I, in Mark Wahlberg's character, I, he was a bit of a jerk. He was an ass. Mm. You know, he, he didn't care for anybody but the gold. And, you know, Tom Holland you know, Drake, he was being sentimental. He's like, you know, this is all you wanted was the gold. You think I have some information? Well, yeah, do you? And I'm like, are you serious, dude? Yeah. Well, we got Dynasty Pylon says, hey, man, there's uh, there's a few people with multiple talents. And and that's fine. Yeah. yeah. But I, mean, I get what it, you're saying, but where did he get it from? Right. Like, you, you, you're you making uh, martinis and drinks, and then next thing you're you know, you know, you know, like, what are you, Neo? Like, I know Kung Fu. And you start like whooping ass all around. I was like, yeah. <laughs> like yeah. It, it, it's yeah. just crazy, you know. And uh, we have Mark Robert being a, a jerk. It's like he's an ass in this yeah. movie. And I, you can see yeah. it. And he portrayed it very, very well. So I don't know if he took some of his personal life and threw it into the movie or not. I don't know. <laughs> but um, yeah, besides that, I mean, I think everything else is pretty, pretty good. Um, one other note, I really liked they keep it kid friendly because yeah. when dude's throat got slit, normally any other movie you see the blood come out and it just squirts out. No, they they just cut the slit, no blood, they just, and that's it, you know. 
And I, I applaud them for that. To make sure have it kid friendly. But other than that, the just those are two things that kind of yeah, it didn't right, rub me the right way. Yeah, with that. What about you, Will? What you what you got? I can kind of see that. Um, as far as Tom Holland being so multi talented with everything, um, I, I agree that he was a little over the top, especially with the gun skills. I know he's a cat burglar, but he's more of a sleight of hand kind of guy. Is what they kind of put him out to be from like the middle of the movie to. To the, I'm sorry, from the beginning to the middle of the movie. Mm-hmm. Towards yeah. middle to the end, he just he kind of just like a switch turned into an expert and everything. So I could tell that was something that would kind of bother some people. Um, I personally didn't like that um, that Tom Holland's character, uh, Nathan Drake, he didn't get revenge like I thought he would. In the very beginning, right? Um, just a, a quick scene. Or giving backstory about how Nathan's so good with his sleight of hand. He is a bartender, right? And he sees like a a rich girl that probably has a big trust fund. She's, you know, someone that you wouldn't really care if you were steal from them. And he steals like a bracelet from her. And him not knowing who she is, and he does something as bogus as that, right? To her. Mm-hmm. Um as soon as he does that, right? Um Mark Wahlberg's character, Sully steals that same bracelet and then ends up giving it back to him but i was hoping that nathan would like do something to get back at mark Wahlberg's character like yeah. where he would mm. kind of you know kind of outplay him in, in, in a in a way of wits um but he didn't i, I didn't really see that um too much he, he was such a uh, a really good, wholesome, like naive character where he was just trusting everybody, even though he knew he shouldn't have. And and they've prefaced many times in the movie that Mark Wahlberg's character is not to be trusted. He trusts no one. And then the the third uh, female lead, um, I forget her name. Mia. She also. Gonna... Yeah. Oh, the 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 bad uh, guy. Chloe. He she plays Chloe. Oh, um, oh yeah. She um she was also bogus and like kind of did a. Like uh, what do you call that? She she screwed like a double double cross. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. She does that, and the whole time, and I know that Tom Holland's character is really like the the hero of the story, or he's like one of the main one, and he's so wholesome. But I was hoping he would use, you know, in not an evil way, but like I, I was hoping he would cross them, double cross them in a real innocent way. But I didn't really see that. That's just me personally. That doesn't take away from the movie at all. Um. I was happy to see um, that um, Antonio Banderas' character, he plays kind of like the bad guy. He's going after um, the treasure and whatnot. Um, and he, he was real cool, real, real sly. Um, besides that, um, that's it. That's all I have for uh, things that stood out to me. The movie did come mm-hmm. out. Uh, when did the movie come out? It came out this Friday, last, I believe. Yeah, so, this past Friday. Yeah. Yeah. Past Friday. Yeah, this Friday. weekend was its opening weekend. So, yeah. And that's what we usually do on Mondays. We usually, for the most part, unless it's like a really dead weekend, uh, we usually talk about like the, the big movies that came out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hence, Spoiler Kings. <laughs> we <Yep. laughs> can't spoil it. Mm-hmm. Um, at least we, we give you the weekend to watch it. <laughs> yeah. I'm slacking. Reading. It's I'm all slacking. good. Man. Yeah. It's Don't all worry good. About it. We're not giving away uh, too much. Um, you really have to watch the movie to really get the gist of it. Yeah. and Well, that kind of leads into one of my dislikes is I've seen this movie before. And I've seen this movie recently. Jungle Cruise. Red Notice. <laughs> Come on. You know, it's like you, you're you're uncharted. You're yeah. it. You're like, like you're the, the game that people love, you know, and and it, I think they could have done more. You know, yeah. I like Nathan Drake at the end of the movie, you know, like what you said when he was the badass, because that's who Nathan Drake is. But in the beginning of the movie, he's 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 a kid. You know, it was like, what? Yeah. Like, like, I mean, besides the actual him being a kid part scene, but like, you know, he's a bartender. He's a he's a petty crook, you know, thief. It was like, no, this guy's like is like the new Indiana Jones, what he's supposed to be. You know, it was like Indiana Jones, Tomb Raider, Lord yep. Off, and then Nathan Drake. <laughs> And they didn't. They, you didn't get that part of him until later, you know. And and I was like, ah, oh, this is who he should have been from the beginning, you know. So that that was my thing. Uh, we got Joel, uh, Joel. Never played the game, uh, but it was a lot 
but is it a lot related to the game? I, I don't think I it's a lot it. related. I don't think it's a lot related to the game. Mm-hmm. But they have they have parts of the game. I don't know if that makes sense. Right. Mm-hmm. Like the little when he jumps over railings or something, he yeah. jumps like off a wall to go over the railing. And that's yeah. something similar to the game. You know, the yeah. outfit, the costume, the attire, that's similar to that also. Um let let's see the the little treasure and like the key the, the thinking and the puzzles and what have you like remember when he found the cross career yeah. is joke but you know when he found the crosses <laughs> and then he found a clue in the cross yeah, yeah it, it's because in that game there is little mini games and little mini puzzles that you gotta solve mm, you know yeah. um I, that that's how I saw it and, and that's enough for me to say okay it's in relation to the game they could have put more maybe. But maybe more is less. You know, if you would have put more into it, then you would have took less. It would have been that as attractive, you know? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you the whole movie. <laughs> Hence the name, um, Smarter Kings, man. I mean, <laughs> should have known what you got yourself into. <laughs> yeah. But I, I, w- I, w- I wouldn't say, I mean, they could have literally called this any other name. You know, and changed any of the and changed all the names, and it would not have changed the what it was. You know, what I mean, all they, they all they did is like, hey, let's make another you know heisty movie, but let's add uncharted characters to it. I mean, that's all it is. You know, I mean, shit, you could have called him Indiana yeah. Jones Junior. And, and you know, Laura Croft Senior, whatever the fuck, I don't know. And <laughs> it would have been the same exact movie. It would have been the same exact movie. You know, true. Uh, so, which is like, like Frodo said, it's it's not technically a bad thing, but it's also not a great thing. It's just kind of like it's just there, and for me, it's a little distracting, you know, mm-hmm. because like if you did play the game, I I stopped a while ago. I think I played like the first two, and then I kind of like like just stopped. Mm-hmm. Um, not, I'm not saying it wasn't a bad game. I just kind of got busy with other stuff. But I I wanted Nathan Drake to be the badass because that's what he is in the games, and he really wasn't um in it. To the end, until the end. Um, well, but the, the, the go ahead. Uh, I'm sorry. But I was saying, like, the another thing that kind of like really, really <laughs> bothered me was the shitty, shitty freaking <laughs> accent Tom Holland had. What the hell was that? It was, he was trying to be like a New York Boston accent, but it had a lisp because, like, <laughs> when he talked, he talked with his bottom jaw more forward. To, t- to try to get that, like, yeah, man, I'm from Boston, you know. So he tried to have that 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 talk, and I'm like, it was so distracting at times, especially when he was trying to be like badass and like talk shit to to Sully, and I was like, dude, like, like, and that's the, but that's he's British, <laughs> you know. So yeah. it's like yeah. they do those, you know, the um, those weird things, you know. Like I like ever since my girlfriend pointed it out, I can never unhear it now. You know, when British people mm-hmm. say things, they over enunciate. You know, um, Doctor Strange is the big biggest one. He goes, you know, my name is Stephen Strange. Like, go back and watch <laughs> it. You hear it, and you're like, son of a bitch. You ruined. I'm not going to. Ruined- I don't know. No. <laughs> <laughs> and he did this. He did. He did that here. Not as bad, but that that weird accent. And it came in. It came and went. On top of that, sometimes yeah. it was there, sometimes it wasn't. It, it, was became, like, it became more, it became more Americanized in the middle of the movie. But yes, I do, I do remember hearing that yeah. that uh, Boston accent, and you know, yeah. well, Mark Wahlberg, he's he's from the East Side, East Coast somewhere. Yeah, he's a Boston boy, uh, right? So I could, I could see, and if they hung out together, I'm sure he's like, "How do you say this? How do you say that?" You know, yeah. but yeah, I, I I see what you're saying about that. Yeah. That's funny. It was it, it was just funny and kind of like I'm like ah uh, you know like British people with their accents and when they especially when they really try to try try to add like a a, a really deep accent in America like you know a Boston accent right no I mean there's a lot of Americans that can't do a Boston accent <laughs> you know and <laughs> you expect them to do it but I was like just give them a regular American accent but I don't know I don't know if that was his thing. You know, maybe because him living with Mark Marky Mark for so long, he, he started it probably picking picked up. it up. Yes, <laughs> he started but, picking up. But yeah, that that was like my only kind of nitpick about it was, mm-hmm. like, was that it's yeah. not as bad as House of Gucci. I don't know if you guys have seen House of Gucci yet. Um, their accents, oh my god, oh my god, 
It's <laughs> too much. Ooh. Right. It's See, so bad. So I, I, I kind of have to leave the cliffhanger at the end because you know uh, they, they left the cliffhanger. So I'm yeah. guessing in the second one, he's going to be the badass. You know, the uh, I hope so. Drake. You know, because I mean, think about it. He's learning, right? He learned to he he learned not to trust the girl in the bed, right? So he put a coordinates on a different paper and left it there, and he stashed the real coordinates. So he was learning and picking up things. So yeah. I could see that in the second movie, being you know leaving that cliffhanger, that he's going to be a real badass. Yeah, I, I can I can see that. And then yeah, I don't want to get into like a big big spoiler. There's mm-hmm. like a ending a thing at the end, like you said, that's a pretty good cliffhanger. Um, and we got Martin that says uh, when someone shatters your glass, it changes your perspective on character. Sometimes, I'm not sure who shattered my glass. Talk about in I the think, movie? <laughs> yeah, I'm guessing in the or, movie. Maybe uh, or maybe what, maybe he's talking about maybe. with Erica. <laughs> yeah. To, pick, pointed out the the british people accent yeah uh, but everyone does it i mean I- idris alba even like slips and does it sometimes and uh-huh. he's like amazing so <laughs> it's better it's better than the Scarlet rich throughout the whole marvel series because there's some series that's stronger than some that's there than the next scene that's yeah. not oh so, it's gone now yeah it's, it's like a hey, wandavision it was just, like mm-hmm. on that. yeah he's talking about the accent thing yeah yeah yeah, it was just like something I didn't notice, and then once she pointed it out to me, I was like, "Son of a bitch!" And it's all I hear now. Whenever I hear, and there's so many British actors now, like so many, you know. Mm-hmm. But, but yeah, that's that's pretty good. Uh, anything else before we move on? Yeah, I'm, I yeah. got everything. Off, I got everything off my chest, so I can sleep peacefully tonight. There you go. <laughs> Nothing really yeah. bothered me too much about the movie. Um, like I said, pacing was okay. Length of the movie was okay. Uh, the movie was about what an hour and forty minutes, something like that. Something like that. It was less than two hours, which I thought was perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. If it would have been longer, it would have dragged for me, but it was right on the mark. If it yeah. would have been longer, it would have been Spider Man sixteen or something, because <laughs> yeah. three hours. <laughs> like Man. Hugh Jackman, yeah, Hugh Jackman's got that that accent, but he's got that uh, Australian accent. Yeah, that turned to America. Mm-hmm. Uh, and Wanda became a full, full fledged American <laughs> after the first film. That's That's basically, as soon as she lost her bro, it was over with. <laughs> uh, right. I figured, like after she had sex with Vision, <laughs> he's oh, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he like he's like touched her and like, eh, hey, we're getting rid of that crappy accent. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> I'll give you my gemstone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez. Um, all right, man. So let's get into our our ratings. Uh, you want to let them know how we rate stuff here? Yes, sir. So over here at the Nerd Huddle, us spoiler kings like to review movies a little bit differently. We don't give a five star system or none of that BS. We do it this way. So as you see down below, we're either going to rate this movie a watch now, a watch later, or a watch never. A watch now means drop everything and go watch this movie ASAP because it's that good. Spend all your coin towards it. Um, watch later means eh, you could put it on the back burner, maybe catch it when it comes out streaming, uh, but it's still worth the watch at some point. And a watch never means do not give this movie any time of day. Do not spend your money because it's that trash. With that being said, uh, Fredo, you want to kick it off with uh, the rating? What do you give it now, later, or never? Um, I like the now. Uh, but considering I'm a gamer and I played this game before, I played part one and some of part two, or one and two and some of part three, I can't remember. but um, I am a now person. I I do like it. If my daughter wants to go see it again, sure. You know, uh, Jess wants to see it again. Okay, I'm right there with you. Um, yeah, it was good enough for she was my daughter. She's six. She was engaged at times, and at times, you know, she lost interest. But yes, it's a now movie for me. I have the I have the vote for now. It, it just it was really good. It was really fun. Kept me engaged. So I like it. Okay. Okay. Um, I guess I'll go. So for me, not having too much background with the video game, going just based off the movie, not comparing to anything else, <laughs> like Tank said earlier, we have seen this movie pretty much a few times <laughs> in different uh, different skins, and different <laughs> names, if you will. Um, so comparing it to those other movies that we've watched, um, this one definitely stacks up a little bit higher. 
mm-hmm. Tank went for a pee pee break, so uh, we'll wait for him. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> pretty much, I will say that this is a, a definite watch now. Mm-hmm. Nothing really bothered me. Like, I'm sure if I watch it again and, and look out for like the accent thing, or, or right. if I, you know, if I really dig deep into the movie, I might find one or two things that bother me. But really, overall, well done movie. Um, imagery was really, really good. Um, the character development showing, you know, us caring for these characters was right on the mark. Uh, chemistry, like I said, between all the characters was really good. Had a pretty good bad guy in it. Um, yeah. For the most part. Bad guy um, was good. Yeah, right. Like I said, this movie reminded me of like the Goonies, but very, very more, like way more than the Goonies. Like it was really well done. They travel from like all over the damn globe. They go to like what, right. Barcelona. They go to I forgot where else, but they go a shitload of places. <laughs> and yeah, I want to say um, this is a definite watch now. Um, right. But with that being said, um, Tank, what do you what do you think about the movie? Is it now? Later? Uh- not- uh yeah sorry my computer crashed so that's why i disappeared for a little bit um but i'm not sure what will said i i last thing i caught was what fredo said um but i'm giving this a later um it was good Ow. it wasn't it wasn't great for me um like i said i've seen it before you know like red notice did this already um jungle cruise did this already and i was expecting this to be more than those um and it really wasn't it was Good action scenes, good stuff. I don't, you know, I would probably wait till, you know, I think it's, it's better to watch it at home than the theater. You know, if you got a nice big screen and, and some surround sound, you know, just rent, rent it in 4K. Rent it in I'm 4K. Not. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I can see that point also. I really can. However, I'm, I think the gamer in me just like, yes, yeah, so I want to see it again. You know, I don't. I, think, I mean, the gamer in me said this is they should not have used it. They they almost ruined the 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 name of it. Mm-hmm. You know, strong. they didn't do yeah. Nathan. They didn't do Nathan Drake justice, like at all. Right. Even by the end, he was great, but he wasn't Nathan Drake. He was Tom Holland playing. You know, you know, uh, Indiana Jones uh, Junior. Indiana Jones. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He, he was. He wasn't. He wasn't Nathan Drake. It wasn't Nathan, you yeah. know. Sully, I, he was a pretty good Sully. Um, I'll give him that because um, Sully's a little bit older. But Tom Holland, I liked him in the movie, but not my Nathan Drake. <laughs> right. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So and then, uh, so last thing, uh, we also see what the critics and audience gave it over on Rotten Tomatoes. So the audience gave it a ninety percent. So the audience loved it, um, but. The critics did not. The critics gave it a 40%. The critics Ooh. were not happy about this thing. Um, yeah. So, um, and just a few of them here. Uh, Uncharted is not a bad is not bad enough to hate and not enter- entertaining enough to engage with. It was just another bad video game movie. Yeah. You know, wow. Yeah. And it's just They're like ex- for fans. The, the huh? credits are nothing but Xbox players. That's why. <laughs> um, see this one said uh, for fans of each of the of treasure hunter Nathan Drake's incredible uh, adventures this movie is likely going to feel like a uh, bona fide disaster see I don't know if it was a bona fide disaster but it like I said it, it just it wasn't it wasn't the character that they portrayed in the game no yeah. it was a little bit on the cheesy side just a little yeah like like I said they the they could have gone big with it, but they brought it down some where it's yeah. for kid level. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. <sighs> but that's about here. And then also real quick, uh, I forgot to look this up. Well, my computer crashed. So every, all my tabs went, went down. Uh, bad, um, the box office did pretty dang good. Cool. Like, Really good, really good in this with this one. It brought in uh 51 million, including nice. Monday because it's a holiday weekend. So I think it's the biggest opening of the year so far in 2021 yeah. or 2022. I'm sorry, jeez, pretty darn um, good. Yeah, can but can you imagine you're Tom Holland? Like you just annihilated everything, 
in 2022 with spider-man and now you come and like you're off to like a running start with with you know uncharted Mm -hmm. so so it's pennies to him compared to (laughs) spider-man 51 million yeah Yeah, that's 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 nice (laughs) (laughs) i mean yeah i had a good weekend and good weekends mean sequels so you yeah. know, if if it if it keeps going for the next couple of weekends, um, which might be a little hard because a lot of good movies are coming out soon, but That's if it right. can hold in the top three for next month or so, uh, then yeah. it it was good. I think next week you might go down to number two. I don't know what's coming out next week. I don't know what kind of movie, but I think next week you might go down to number two, considering the critics gave it forty percent, mm-hmm. and a lot of people go off of that. You know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And there's nothing next week. I mean, I think next week we're doing Studio 666, which is like a Foo Fighter, uh, Dave Grohl, scary oh, horror film, right. which yeah. looks pretty awesome. But I don't, I, I mean, that's not going to be a big uh, theater one. So no. it'll probably stay number one again for next week. But then after that, that's when a lot, a lot of the blockbusters are going in. So, so we'll see, we'll see how, how, how it goes with that. But yeah. Cool, cool. You know what anything been, else you, before? You know what would have been really cool? If that plane, the cargo plane, would have transformed into, like, something. Like, <laughs> a transformer? Into, into a transformer. It's like, I got you, Marky. <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny. Nice oh, my movie. God. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, Martin said, uh, adventure movies should be two part, two parters. I feel it's uh, too much in a single movie. Some. Some. It, I think it depends on the main character. If you have to give them a backstory, then half of the movie is kind of lost to, you know, origin rather than the adventure where the second movie you're already set up. So you can go right from the start adventure right. with this one. I feel like they should have, they should have made him the badass right off the bat. And then, you know, I think, you know, he could have been like mid adventure kind of stuff. Kind of like what red notice. I thought red notice like started off, already everyone was established like you're badass you're badass you're badass you know it's like true cool you know you don't need to tell me all the origin stories of why they all became who they are mm-hmm. so i but, mean the origin story was only like five ten minutes really wasn't that bad yeah no but then then the whole part of like he's never went treasure hunting so like marky mark you know and and like the one th- I, one thing was the the constant betrayals. Oh yeah, just like like yeah. I can't trust him, and then they betray me, and then they betray me, and then we betrayed you, but now we're friends again. I was like, oh my god, I get it. Like you know, <laughs> like you know that you know I feel like that that could have got cut short a little bit, a little bit. But oh yeah, anything anything else, guys? Nah, nah, I'm good. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Um, so if you're watching live, hang out. We're gonna do another movie. Uh, if you're watching on replay, we appreciate you guys. And uh, make sure you check out all our videos over on the Spoiler Kings uh, YouTube channel. Uh, and we're gonna get into Oscars pretty soon. We're gonna yep. get some, some good Oscars. Uh, we got what Martin coming in. Uh, no, I need to know how this bartender became a badass. <laughs> Easy. Don't make him a bartender. Just start him <laughs> off as a badass. There you go. <laughs> like, all right. You don't need to skip it. But um, <laughs> all right, guys. Um, yeah, so we're doing Oscars pretty soon. Um, there's going to be a few movies we're going to start this week. And so be on the lookout for the new contest for the Oscars we're doing. And then uh, our Black Excellence in Cinema is still going strong. Uh, I think we got one or two more. We might even carry it over to, <laughs> to like every Monday kind of thing. So we'll see. Um, yeah, we're just doing a bunch of stuff over here, man. TV busy. shows, movies, Netflix, Hulu. Busy, busy people. Question. Not me. Good stuff. Not me. Have, yes, we, have, have we done um, Black Klansman? Have you guys um, that movie we did it. Me and Alfredo did it when it was up for uh, Oscar nominee yeah. a while ago. Um, okay. You know, which I think I could be wrong, but I think we both like really loved it. I was, yep. I was, I was kind of upset it didn't win the Oscar, but I've, I also, also not surprised because the Oscars. So. Yeah. Actually, it was uh, Black Klansman with Black Panther, if I'm not mistaken. Oh. And Green Book. And Green Book. Green Book was really and good. The, it was, but 
Yeah, I mean, what would we, yeah, that, that's, that's, just, that's just a, that's a whole other conversation. Just watch our videos from the past, and you'll see what we said. I was yeah. gonna say, uh, maybe you link that into uh, the Sport of the Kings Facebook page. That'd be a good idea. Yeah. So hopefully, uh, this sometime this week, I'm gonna pull up all of uh, our past Oscar reviews where me and Fredo did before Spoiler Kings was a thing, before Nerd Huddle was a thing, when it was just me and Alfredo. Um, I'm gonna pull those videos out and I'm gonna post them on Spoiler Kings under a yes. playlist of Oscar reviews. Yes. So, yes. Yeah. So that's gonna be cool. that's gonna be fun. Um, but cool, man. Let's get out of here. We appreciate it. Um, yep. yeah. Thank you everyone for hanging out in chat over on Facebook and on YouTube. Appreciate y'all. But see you guys later. Have a good one, guys.